Hey YouTube, I'm Brad Apps here, and today I'm going to show you what a CA display link is. Now, what a CA display link is, it's pretty much an alternative to an NS timer, but it fires a method a lot quicker. It actually fires uh, the method every 60th of a second. So, um, this is pretty much aimed more towards a game. So, say you um, have a method where you're going to detect if objects are colliding. You want that method to update very frequently because an NS timer maybe you can make it update every second or two, but here it checks it every sixtieth of a second, so it's more for a game. Um, in this case, I'm going to make um, a method update a, uh, an int that int will increase every one sixtieth of a second, and so you'll see every one second it'll be sixty. It'll increase by sixty. So um, it's actually really easy to implement, and I'm going to start by going to my frameworks and adding Quartz Core. All right. Now go to your view controller dot h and import chords corn. Now I made a text file here, which is all the code we need to make this work. All right. And I'm gonna read this out to you. So I'm gonna do um, ca display link space asterisk your variable for the display link. Then I'm gonna make a UI label and an int. So I'll do um, ib outlet UI label score label. Then I'm going to make an int and I'll name that score. And then I'm also going to declare a void method here that will be called every 60th of a second. And I'll name that update score. Alright, now I'm going to build and run that. Now go to your .m. And then first go to your view to load and then copy in this code. Uh, so your variable of the display link space equals space start bracket ca display link space display link with target colon self space selector colon at selector start in parentheses the void method name so in this case it'll be update score and parentheses and bracket semicolon next line start bracket display link space add to run loop colon start bracket ns run loop space current run loop and bracket space for mode colon ns run loop common modes and bracket semicolon now that's all we have to do for the display link right now and then now we're going to implement the code for the void method and that is update score all right so here first we are going to do score plus equal one so that'll make it um, add one every 60th of a second, so you'll see that every second it'll increase by 60. And then, of course, right after that, we want to update our label. All right, so that's pretty much it for the code. Um, so it's build and run. We should see no warnings or errors. Great. Now let's go to our XIB. All right, so first I'm going to add a label make it a little bit bigger and I'll just make it blank for right now then go to files owner and then connect to score label here alright and then um, that's pretty much it for uh, interface building now what you should see is like I said it'll update every 1 60 of a second and the score will add by 60 every second so I'm just doing a double check here. My code is all good. Looks good to me. All right, now I'm going to run this in the simulator. Just going to wait for it as it builds. All right, takes a long time to load. All right. Alright, as you can see, it is going very fast per second. So now it's all the way up to like, you can see every second. So, one second. Wait, let's start. Start. One second. Alright, so you can see that it goes really fast. Actually, every 1 60 of a second, it updates a method. And you could do this, like I said, to check if objects are colliding or whatever you want to do. But it's most likely aimed for a game. You don't want to really do this for any other type of app unless you really need to. So that's pretty much it for um, this tutorial. Uh, I just want to keep uh, let you know that the source code will be in the description below. And then also today or tomorrow I'm going to have a few more tutorials coming out that you are going to find very useful. 
Alright, so um, thanks for watching, and look forward to my other tutorials. Thanks.